Hello doctors, have a beautiful day. Today we are looking at the portal hypertension and their causes. So it is divided into post-hepatic, intrahepatic and pre-hepatic. So now we are looking at the post-hepatic. Post-hepatic, it can be due to the Bacheri syndrome or the inferior vena cava obstruction. Next, the hepatic vein outflow obstruction as well as the inferior vena cava webs. Next, there are some cardiac causes as well. So the cardiac can include the restrictive cardiomyopathy. Next, the constrictive pericarditis, the severe congestive heart failure, as well as the severe tricuspid regurgitation. Next, moving on to the intrahepatic. So, in the intrahepatic, it may be due to the post sinusoidal. So, post sinusoidal, it includes the hepatic sinusoidal obstruction. So, this is nothing but the veno occlusive syndrome. Next, we are looking at the sinusoidal. The so, sinusoidal is uh, due to cirrhosis caused by the ALD, NAFLD. Next, there is also the viral hepatitis, the cryptogenic cirrhosis. Next, there is also the post-necrotic cirrhosis as well as the hepatocellular carcinoma and the amyloidosis. Next, we are looking at the pre-sinusoidal. So, in case of the pre-sinusoidal, it includes the idiopathic portal hypertension as well as the primary biliary cholangitis, next the sarcoidosis, schistosomiasis, also the Congenital hepatic fibrosis this is hepatic fibrosis. Next, the non serotic portal fibrosis that is the NCPF. Next, the nodular regenerative hyperplasia. Next, we are looking at the prehepatic causes of the portal hypertension. So, in case of the prehepatic, it includes the portal venal thrombosis. Next also the splenic vein thrombosis. Next also the massive splenomegaly that is also known as the Bantle syndrome. 